Hey, what's good? This is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday, and I intend on doing the exact same. So what is going on, you guys? All right. Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform. Now, tomorrow is Wednesday, which means that it's Chasing Atlanta Day. And when it's Chasing Atlanta Day, it's also the Chasing Panel Day. Make sure you guys tune in right after the brand new episode of Chasing Atlanta tomorrow night to see Scotty by nature, Jamar84, giving you the real tea. Tramil, Carl, and Jeremy Speaks TV all come together to discuss this week's episode of Chasing Atlanta. And then on Friday, make sure you guys tune in for the season four finale of Boys Night Out. Be sure to tune in as Scotty, Jamar, Josiah, Terrence, and Maddie all come together to close out the show for the year. All right. So with that being said, that's pretty much all that we got for the church announcements. So let's just go ahead and get into the mess for today, honey. Now we're going to talk about this love and hip hop trio that is Lil Scrappy, Erica Dixon, as well as Miss Bambi Benson. Okay. Now, apparently Scrappy was kind of zooted in Booted, booted and drunk today and he decided to go on live and apologize to Erica Dixon and Bambi okay so we're going to listen in on what he had to say to them and then once he's done talking we're going to come back and give a little bit of commentary and then we're going to be up out of here so let's get into this live that he did shout out to the Hollywood Unlock because they're the reasons why we're watching this let's go a whole fuck nigga for real I done been a whole fuck nigga to women. You know what I'm saying? And I've been fucked over. They done fucked me all the way over, inside out. You feel what I'm saying? So let, let, like, let, let, let's, let's just know this shit, my nigga. For all y'all women and all y'all men out there that just want to stand on the woman's side, or you just want to stand up for men and be like, oh, no. Because black every time a black woman want to stand up for herself, black niggas want to step in and be like, oh, no, look at this, this bitch. She trying to get, nah, nigga. This woman done been through some shit. Let her speak her truth. You maggot motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And all the women, let that man speak his truth. Don't try to step in when a nigga's trying to speak freely because some shit he went through. And you trying to talk about like, uh, nah, because me and nah, this nigga went through that shit. This man went through that. Let that man speak his truth. Like you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be like that and have a son, neither woman. You can't be like that and have a, a daughter, neither nigga. I done been a whole fuck nigga. Uh, man. For all the men and women, how you gonna how you gonna deplete a man and you got a, a, a whole man you gotta raise? You should you, you should be like trying to build men up because you got a whole son. The fuck is wrong with you? You should be trying to build women up. You got a whole daughter, you got a whole woman you gotta raise. So that's why I be on the shit I be on. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know what I'm saying? I, I I'm, I'm gonna apologize to both for my kids' moms, man. I'm sorry for any disrespect I ever caused y'all, cause I know I've been disrespectful as fuck in the past years. It's a new year. I'm turning over a new leaf. But still, you feel what I'm saying? I know I've been disrespectful. I don't give a fuck if you disrespecting me or not. I'm sorry. You feel what I'm saying? And to any woman that I disrespected, I'm sorry. You feel what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I was on some demon time disrespectful shit. And I need to get over myself. You feel what I'm saying? And the rest of you niggas do too. And the rest of you women do too. Okay, y'all. So that was Scrappy's so-called apology to both of his baby mamas, um, Erica Dixon and Bambi. Now, let's look at some of the comments on Hollywood Unlocked so we can see what they had to say about it. Now, somebody said, man, you look in his face and see that he is zooted and geeked. He's just in his feelings about being solo for the holidays and love and hip-hop promo as well. Someone said one thing about a Capricorn. They're going to take accountability for their actions and then turn around and do the same thing again. Someone says, my dad um, does this and then disrespects them as soon as he gets mad again. Apologize directly to Bambi. Do not apologize. No, Do not combine no apology to your ex-wife and baby mama. Y'all did Bambi dirty. My dad does this all the time when he's drunk. Cry and apologizes. Change behavior is a true apology. This is for clout. I absolutely love this. Not only did he give a word, he admitted his wrongs and apologized and then let his ego step in. Let's go. More of this in 2020. Four. Okay, now there are some women that are falling for the bullshit, and then there are some women that are not falling for the bullshit, and then there are some men in the comments that are calling it out. My thing with Scrappy is this, and I always have liked Scrappy. Don't get me wrong. I always felt like he was fine, and I always felt like he was a good person at some point, but as a man... What I mean by as a man, as uh, as some as somebody's husband, as somebody's boyfriend, he's a terrible-ass person. And that is really the best way for me to put it. He is a terrible person. Now, he's sitting on this live, okay? 
he's sitting on his live and in so many words you can say that he's taking accountability for the things that he's done or the things that he ha- or the things that he's doing at this particular moment you could say that but like in this particular moment we all know that if one of them make him pissed off he's going to go right back to being disrespectful and that's normally how it goes you feel what I'm saying? That's normally how it goes. Like, they'll get on, they'll apologize, they'll get drunk, they'll get high, cry, apologize, and say that, you know, I did you wrong, you did me wrong, I'll take you back, all that other stuff. And then they'll turn right back around when they get good and ready and upset and disrespect them again. The only thing that one can say is change behavior is the best apology that you can give somebody. You can apologize and say one thing, but your actions can show something else. So one minute you can say, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never do this again. You know, I I, I don't have any I don't have any means to do that again. Like, I don't ever want to disrespect you or put you in a bad place. You know, one can say that. But then after they say those words, they can go right back to the same place they was in and apologize to you again and still put you in those predicaments to be disrespected again. And we have seen this same song and dance with Lil Scrappy many, many times before. Like we've seen him apologize to Erica. We've seen him say he did her wrong. We've seen him say that, you know, um, I just want to make things right with you and be in a better place only for him to go back and do the same thing over and over again. So you can't really sit around and do things like that and then expect for people to really accept apologies that you're trying to give. No, you can apologize all day, but you got to show a person that you're apologizing to that you really mean what you're saying. That's what I mean by actions is the best apology. You can apologize, but then we got to see your growth. We got to see that you really mean what you're saying. We got to see the gender, you know, we got to see if it's really genuine or not. Because if you don't change the way you act, and if you are not going to change the way you um, come into this world when it comes down to me, then, you know, I can't necessarily say that, you know, you meant what you said. I know that we all have shortcomings, and I know that sometimes we do regress. And that's in any situation. Sometimes we do regress sometimes. but Scrappy continues to regress. And what's so crazy to me is that I don't understand how Erica can sit around and be dancing with him at the club and, you know, rubbing on him, backing it up on him and all this other stuff and just and just forget about all the things that he's already done. Okay, so let's look at that real quick. Now, in the midst of this apology, we see that they've been hanging out at the club and stuff like this. Let's look at that. Let's look at that real fast. There they go. They're dancing. Um, someone said we had a time last night, brought in a new year on one 2024. Um, real the real little scrappy Miss Erica Dixon, whoever the hell else that is on, you know, that was tagged in this. But I never would have thought that he that she would ever, you know, be in this place. Like it's one thing to be like cool with them and you know, coexist, especially being you know, due to the fact that you got a child with this person. But I just feel like Scrappy has done a lot of disrespectful things to Erica. Like, to be honest, like so much disrespect and public disrespect and tried to get her kids taken from her and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, if you can move past that, that is that is that is a blessing if you can. I just don't think that I could get past something like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just don't. Because Scrappy was doing the most at one point in time. You know what I mean? So I don't really know if I could really get past that, but I'm still working on this whole grudge holding thing. I've I've let go a lot of a, a lot of things, honestly. But yeah, I don't really think that I could. But you know, some people can really get past things. Now they're saying that they're not together, but seeing them out backing it up, doing this, if, if either you together or y'all screwing, it's one or the other. But you know, I guess it's a good thing that they are in a good place because they haven't been for a long time. But who knows? But my question to you guys that's listening to this video is, do you guys think that Scrappy is being genuine with this apology? Do you really believe that he's really owning up to his mistakes, his mishaps? Do you really, really think that he is actually um, holding himself accountable? Or do you guys think that this is another ploy for some attention?
Do you guys think that him and Erica are back together? Do you think that they're just sleeping together? Or do you guys think that they're not really together? They're just old friends just hanging out. And where do you think Bambi stands in this whole situation? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. Now, before we get up out of here, y'all know we got to pay bills. So let's start off with Tramiel. Be sure to support Tramiel. He has a song out called Long Days. It's available everywhere on all streaming platforms. Make sure you purchase and stream the record, okay? Bando has a song out right now called Bando's Dream. It is now available on Spotify. Apple Music, as well as the YouTube, as well as his brand new song, Do You Wild, which is also available everywhere right now. Okay, so this is your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. And if you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below. With that being said, you guys, your boys are out here. And until my next video, I will holler at you guys a little bit later.